things I know, things I believe, and things I've heard. I won't always disclaim it, so you, I, it, at any time ask me whether I know it, believe it, or heard it, okay? But I'm not gonna tell you anything that I know is wrong, all right? And I will, and I will try to highlight stuff that you might have heard from other people that uh, I disagree with or I support, okay? Um, talk about leverage, ah! How many of you have seen my other videos or uh, you guys ever hear that 100 pound side pressure is what it takes to be a champ? Okay, I want to clarify that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. um, people get into the sport and they know it's the same way, right? Uh, you constantly want to know where you are, you're training hard, you want to gauge yourself and you can't go to a tournament all the time. I was constantly being asked, what was the level of side pressure that was good, all right? What I said was 100 pounds should put you in the national champion category, all right? And that was, and there was a couple of uh, caveats to it. What I meant was, if I shove this table, let's just see, just a second. If I put this table in front of this machine, okay, Oh, eventually you guys all, are all going to need a pin stack, just so you know. If you're, if you're, if you're serious about being some world-class kick-ass arm wrestler, you're going to need a pin stack. Um, God, I love, I love these seminars that these people who have all the toys. When I said 100 pounds, it was on a machine like this, set up in front of your arm wrestling table, the table perpendicular to the oh, you don't need to set it up. I'm just going to, but with a wrist wrench, okay? My wrist wrench is uh, three inches in diameter. This one looks like it's about two, two, two and a half. This is what I said. When you're at 100 pounds, you're better than most people who are just starting out. Most, pe most beginners and stuff can hit in the 70 to 80 pound range. It takes them about a year or so, because in the beginning, those numbers go up in a hurry. So then you hit 100. All right, getting from 80 to 100 takes about one fifth of the time of getting from 100 to 120. Okay, once you hit 100, the numbers slow down. It's like it's the same as like a 380 pound bench press or something, right? People can usually get get push their bench press up fast in the beginning, and then the gains come harder. That's where the 100 pounds came from. I mentioned that they asked me. I said 100 pounds. With the wrist trip, blah, blah. And then when I get, I get flooded with 14-year-old kids doing 120 pounds, you know? But, but, and when I said 100 pounds, it starts at a dead stop here, and you bring it down. All of a sudden, I got, I got people that are taking two hands and locking it in, and they're doing this with 130 pounds, and it's like some 14-year-old girl. Like, oh, okay, you're stronger than I am. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> It wasn't a challenge, I was just trying to help somebody, you know? Um, all right. Uh, I don't think it causes injury. I don't, it, I, I, he don't like excuses, this guy. You, I told him I was getting old, I was on my back, and he was like, forget about it. I, how are you? 75? I'm 54. <laughs> I don't think you're going to hurt yourself training in the gym. All that elbow pain and shit comes from your practice time. It ain't coming from the gym, okay. all right? But it's the eccentric motions that are making you sore. So you can, you can train your side pressure, which ideally pure side pressure would be if I rotated this table parallel to that pulling machine, right? It's a dead stop, so I got it here. I can pull that weight down then 
I can let it back up with two hands. And that's probably where you hurt. Right? And that, and that will stop the eccentric motion, which is where the soreness comes from. Which is why um, I don't do a lot of, I don't believe in a lot of this heavy negative stuff. All right? There's a lot of people, bodybuilders do a lot of it where they'll bench, and they usually bench some crazy number of sets, like 15 sets, and they work up. And then they do drop sets, and then they grab a weight that they can't do, and they just let it down. With the eccentric, isn't that where it builds up the tendons? Isn't that where you actually hit in? What I understand was it builds up a lot of the, the, the auxiliary muscles and stuff, but I do know it causes soreness. Okay. You know? But you're, you're going to hit the, the eccentric motions on speed day anyways, but you don't have to hit them on max effort day when you got all kinds of crazy weight. Okay. All right? Um... But I would start training the, the side pressure, which to me would be the wrist wrench parallel to the table. I'd start it from day one because in the end, no matter how strong your hand is, it's still connected to the elbow and you're not pinning anybody by wrist curling them, right. right? No matter what, you still got to go sideways with them and you wrist curl somebody like Jerry Cataret. You still have a one nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's the rep range that you train side pressure with? We will. This is what I do. I do a max day. Okay. I do a max day, a speed day, and a volume day. Okay. On max day, you work up to a one rep max. Okay. And you do that over six or eight sets. Right. How, do you, how long do you hold it? How long are you holding it for that? To one? me, a max rep is you. You just you decide if I'm doing this exercise. I come down and hit the pad, it's one rep. No different than a max bench press. Okay. It's a full range, it's a full range motion. Uh, you can usually hit your one rep max in six or eight sets. Okay. All right? Then you do a speed day, which is where you put the rubber bands on stuff, and you do something like nine sets of six or nine sets of three. Okay. There's no um, Westside Barbell has it all laid out for power lifters. There's nothing laid out for arm wrestlers. Okay. I'm currently doing a lot of I like, I do a lot of 36 rep stuff. So I do a lot of six sets of six. Okay. Okay. Or, uh, you know, nine sets of seven or something. And what do you mean? What do you actually do with the bands? Like, you, you, where do you, you tie them up to the it, cable? It would be the exact same. So that's, okay. Um, all right. Speed day, max day, and volume day. So... You can set up over there. I got bands over here too. What I need is a long strap to be able to attach this machine right there. to a hand. Um, this will work if you don't work. Yeah. All right. You have another one like this? This oh, one? Not that long. Um, the other one would be right next to you. It's a little shorter. This will work. Is your table at home bolted to the ground? I tie it to the, I tie it down. Which is, yeah, that, that's the one thing. I've seen people, I don't bolt it to the table because when you're switching handles and stuff, you need to move it a lot. But what I do is I just have anchors in the floor and I tie it down with, at the handles and it's just with those uh, straps that you tie stuff down and pick up trucks with. So, that's how we're good. It's a little bit. If you need bands, there are bands over here. Uh, we'll, we'll get to it. So, on max effort day, you would set up the table, and you would set, you would work to a one rep max, and I would call this a one rep. I don't have pads on mine, but you just you determine what is considered what you think, and you're just training yourself. What's a full rep? Right? And you train yourself to hit the one rep max. So you do a couple of warm ups. You take off that pin pad, though. That would be gone right here. This yeah. wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I don't have pin pads. I don't even have pin pads on my practice table. Okay. Um, so, work up to a one rep max. Uh, it's almost always starting from a dead start. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of this locking it in and then coming out. All right? To me, everything should simulate a deadlift. Right? It should be, you know, you're trying to accelerate this thing off the floor, overcome that static friction, everything else. Yeah. And you just, you know. Speed day would be, could be the exact same exercise, except 
you would attach a rubber band from here to here on top. You'd reduce the weight, you'd take your one rep max weight, let's say it's 100 pounds, you reduce it to 60%, so I'd put 60 pounds on it, and then some rubber bands, all right? Now, my rubber bands are these things, but they make jump stretch bands and everything else, and I got a full set of those for benching and squatting, but my arm wrestling is always these, okay? On speed day, we're gonna cover all of this in more extensive detail, but max effort day is about generating maximum force and maximum work, but not a lot of power. Speed day is about mostly generating power. So on speed day, you would fill the bands up and you could load it here. You, you hit it, then when you're coming down the eccentric motion before it stops, you fire into it again. All right, so you reverse. So here it never stops. You reverse it because force is mass times acceleration. Flipping the direction of uh, velocity is a way of getting a very high acceleration force. So it's a way of developing a very very high force for a shorter period of time with a very little amount of weight. So your body is still reacting under forces that are probably higher than your max effort force, but it's only for a short period of time. Speed day with the bands is how we primarily strengthen our tendons in arm wrestling type positions. Unlike the JM press, which is just strengthening them more as a rehabilitation thing. And then volume day, which is what you don't do if you're cutting weight for a class, but it's just a matter of developing uh, work capacity. So you pick a weight and it's a dead start and you typically do sets of, I'm doing five, like 10 sets of five. Then you add, then the next week you add weight, you do 10 sets of five, you add weight until you can't do the 10 sets of five. <laughs> then you switch exercises and start all over again. But it's just a matter of just grinding the weight out, trying to build basically muscle mass at that point. Okay? Any other questions? What, 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 what amateurs who try this exercise scale with us?